the municipality. The chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee, Muanga Chivumbi, has uh, cautioned President Yoram Seveni against undermining the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Assets Act by awarding contracts to foreign companies. Chivumbi maintains that the behavior undermines service delivery and development. For all the problems we are seeing in accountability process, you are seeing so many accounting officers coming here and putting the blue letter and citing the presidential directive. It is very critical that the president of the country should stick to the law established. No matter how big the contract is, no matter the circumstances, is, he should be persuaded to abandon that policy, that habit of sitting in state house and literally awarding contracts. I remember he was one of the people who criticized the late Bill Isa for turning state house into a clearing house. But uh, it seems not to be only turned it into a clearing house, but even beyond what Bill Isa did. Uganda definitely does have a law on how to procure and uh, dispose of uh, public assets. So, so let's go back to the law to inform ourselves. Uh, all procurement involving expenditure of money originating from the consolidating fun consolidated fund it is and related special finances that it expended uh, through the capital or recurrent budgets, whatever form these may take, are supposed, that's the word, are supposed to be done under the provisions of the Act. Furthermore, the body with the powers to award the said contracts is the Contracts Committee of the Procuring and Disposing Entity, not the President. A, non-discrimination. B, transparency, accountability, and fairness. C, maximization of competition and ensuring value for money, confidentiality, economy, and efficiency, promotion of ethics as well. Now, uh, joining us is uh, Council Jude Biamukama to weigh in on the subject. Uh, Council, thank you so much uh, for joining us this evening. Uh, where are we with the law and could one say the Constitution is at fault? Um, the Constitution uh, is quite clear in my view. And uh, the legal framework that governs public procurement, or partnerships uh, between the private sector, between private investors, and the public sector or the government of Uganda. Uh, we have the public procurement law, it's quite explicit. We have the public private partnerships act of 2015. It also gives us a legal framework. Uh, the underlying theme in the constitution and in the legal framework governing commercial arrangements between the government and the private sector is one, there must be transparency, there should be an effort to realize value for money, and there must be a fair opportunity for anyone to have a shot at getting such uh, lucrative contracts with the government. In other words, uh, these arrangements must be competitive. Uh, in fact, uh, Parliament even just passed an, a competition law whose purpose is supposed to be prohibiting anti-competitive arrangements both in the public sector and private sector. Council, uh, clearly the president is uh, riding on executive powers. Have we come to the place where we need to go back to the law to check on those powers in order to save the taxpayer billions, which um, certainly at the moment are being lost? Uh, the problem is not that the president has powers to do what he is doing in regard to the various directives he has made. The problem is the president is disregarding the law that currently exists on our books, whether in the Constitution, in the Public-Private Partnerships Act, or our Public Procurement Law. Are you uh, saying the, the Attorney General, he has the Attorney General mm -hmm. to help him. Are you saying the Attorney General is either ill-advising the president or not advising him at all? Uh, I do not know, I cannot speculate, but what seems to be very clear is that the president issues directives which probably sometimes even the Attorney General learns about much later, like the rest of us. Uh, otherwise, the Attorney General has the obligation 
uh, under Article 117 of the Constitution to advise the President and call out some of these arrangements which offend the Constitution and offend our public procurement law and our public private partnerships act. Well, your answer seems to suggest that uh, we, we are in the midst of a chaos. If you say the Attorney General is also not aware, then as the President does this, who is there? I don't know whether it's a question that the Attorney General is not aware or maybe has given advice and it has been disregarded. We cannot tell because uh, the President is the Attorney General's client and uh, a client can choose not to follow ad sound legal advice. So that the bucks stop with the President. We should be asking the President why he is disregarding the letter and spirit of the Constitution, our public procurement laws, and our public-private partnerships law the back stop with the president. This is not a question for the attorney general because the attorney general can only do so much if the president is unwilling to listen. Well, here we listen when it's time to the end, end the interview. That is it. It's made the Persian rules here. Council Jude Biamukama, thank you.